In this video, we'll cover how to connect your Magtech T-Dynamo card reader to Rescue POS, how to run a credit card transaction, and how to run an NFC payment. Magtech T-Dynamo FAQ. The Magtech T-Dynamo is a wireless countertop card reader that's battery powered. It has a long life battery, but it does need to be charged every night. Many of our customers leave it plugged in, but out of the box, you must fully charge the battery overnight before you attempt to connect the card reader. Even if it turns on, if it's not fully charged, it won't connect to the iPad. It's Bluetooth connected. It can read swipe and EMV chip cards. It also has NFC, so you can use Apple Pay or other smartphone pay apps. It's worth mentioning that only one iPad can connect to the card reader, and you need to use one card reader per iPad. Get to know your card reader. In the boxes, you will find the card reader, the charging cable, and the stand. Insert the power cable into the power port of the card reader and being careful not to force it. You will need to supply a charging brick. The manufacturer recommends a 5 volt power adapter commonly used with smartphones. Connecting the card reader stand. The stand can be used to hold the card reader and to charge it. The back of the card reader must make contact with the pins in the stand to start charging. To lock the card reader into the stand, remove the small rubber plug on the back of the card reader. Use the stand key to rotate the locking tab. Set the card reader into the stand and rotate the locking tab using the stand key. The stand can also be mounted to the countertop. Drill a hole in the countertop and run the supplied bolt through the base of the stand, securing it with a thumb nut. Connecting the T-Dynamo to Rescue POS. Turn the card reader on by pressing the side button. When the card reader is on, the bottom light is green. Hold the button until the bottom light turns blue. Now it's in pairing mode. In Rescue POS, tap the gear to go to settings. Tap Configure Card Reader. Tap T-Dynamo or E-Dynamo. You should now see something listed under Discovered Devices. If you see more than one device listed, Check the back of the card reader to match the serial number. Tap the device you wish to connect to. Wait for the Bluetooth pairing request. Enter the code 000000, that's six zeros. The card reader status should now show connected. If that worked, you're ready to test the card reader with a transaction. Card reader connection troubleshooting. If after tapping the device, you see the message connected but not paired, hold the pairing button on the card reader again to see if the pairing request pops up on the iPad. If it does, enter the six digit code, all zeros. It should now be connected. If it still says device not paired or is stuck connecting, we need to clear the device and try again. At the top right of the screen, tap disconnect device and go to the iPad Bluetooth settings. In My Devices, tap the blue eye next to the T-Dynamo and choose Forget This Device. Reopen Rescue POS and follow the instructions for connecting the card reader. If the card reader doesn't show up at all, go to Settings on the iPad and scroll down to Rescue POS. Make sure Bluetooth and Local Network are both enabled. Under Bluetooth on the iPad, you can also turn Bluetooth off and back on. If you're still unable to get the card reader to connect, contact Rescue Support for additional assistance. Testing the card reader. Run a test transaction. Add a product that is at least $1 to the order. In the checkout screen, you do not need to tap a button for credit cards. Insert the card with the chip facing toward the front of the card reader. When the transaction goes through, this completes the test. If you get an error, double check to make sure the card has been inserted in the correct orientation. If you're still having trouble, contact Rescue Support. 
how to perform an NFC transaction. From the checkout screen of the point of sale, instruct the customer to activate the payment app on their phone and hold their phone close to the card reader, completing the transaction. In this video, we covered the components of the T-Dynamo, how to charge it, how to set up the stand, and how to connect the card reader to the POS. Thank you for watching.